fiction or real, who was Botticelli's Venus? Blown by the flying Zephyr and Chloris, the nude goddess Venus is carried over the water in a giant seashell. Here she makes landfall in a bay with an orange grove, as roses rain down around her. A young woman hurries up to welcome and clothes her. Botticelli drew his inspiration from a variety of sources including a poem by his contemporary Angelo Poliziano, which describes the birth of Venus, and from an ancient Greek hymn to Aphrodite, the Greek name for Venus. Sandro Botticelli's Birth of Venus is of course one of the most iconic artworks of the Uffizi Gallery and one of the most famous paintings all over the world. But wait, who is Venus? Venus is a Greek goddess of love that brings beauty to the world. Beauty is considered to be divine and therefore, those who love beauty are pursuing values that are lofty and even heavenly. This kind of thinking was current in Botticelli's Florence where it helped reconcile classical and Christian ideas. Now, let's take a close look at the painting. In the center of the painting, we see Venus. Her posture recalls a classical sculpture type the modern Venus or Venus Pudica, in which God conceals her breasts and genital area with her arms, and her knee-length, golden hair. She gazes dreamily and shyly into the middle distance. As we move towards the top left we see Zephyr and his companion Chloris. They bring movements to the scene as they fly across it, blowing Venus and her shell on the beach. On the right-hand side, we see a young woman that might be one of the Horai goddesses of the seasons, in this case, she should be Spring. Similar to Grace's, Horai was part of Venus' company. Her own dress and the robe she brings for Venus are decorated with spring flowers. The nymph also wears a garland of myrtle around her neck that symbolize Venus plant. The blown girdle of roses, Venus flowers. The painting bathes in a golden glow that picks out the foliage, the flowers, the shell, and the robes. It represents divine light, fitting for this scene. But who was pictured as Venus? Was she a real woman? The answer, yes, she was. Her name was Simonetta Catania de Vespucci, nicknamed La Bella Simonetta for being the greatest beauty of her age, certainly of the city of Florence. She was born as Simonetta Catania circa 1453 in Liguria. Her father was a Genoese nobleman named Gaspar Catania della Volta, and her mother was his wife, Catocchia Spinola de Candia. Her exact birthplace is uncertain, possibly Genoa, or possibly the villages of Fezzano or Porto Venere. The poet Poliziano wrote that her home was in that stern Ligurian district up above the seacoast, where angry Neptune beats against the rocks. There, like Venus, she was born among the waves. At age 15 or 16 she married Marco Vespucci, son of Piero, who was a distant cousin of the famous Florentine explorer and cartographer Amerigo Vespucci. They met in April 1469, she was with her parents at the church of San Torpete when she met Marco, the doge Piero I. El Fragoso, and much of the Genoese nobility were present. Marco had been sent to Genoa by his father, Piero, to study at the Banco di San Giorgio. Marco was accepted by Simonetta's father, and he was very much in love with her, so the marriage was logical. Her parents also knew the marriage would be advantageous because Marco's family was well connected in Florence, especially to the Medici family. Simonetta and Marco were married in Florence. Simonetta was instantly popular at the Florentine court. The Medici brothers, Lorenzo and Giuliano took an instant liking to her. Lorenzo permitted the Vespucci wedding to be held at the Palazzo in Via Larga and held the wedding reception at their lavish Villa di Careghi. Through the Vespucci family, Simonetta was discovered by Sandro Botticelli and other prominent painters upon arriving in Florence. 
Simonetta Vespucci's life was unfortunately short and she died on the night of 26 to 27 April 1476, probably from pulmonary tuberculosis. She was only 22 at the time of her death. The entire city was reported to mourn her death and thousands followed her coffin to its burial. Botticelli finished painting The Birth of Venus in 1485, nine years later. Some have claimed that Venus, in this painting, closely resembles Simonetta. Simonetta Vespucci was known as the Queen of Beauty and was an inspiration for many artists. For instance, she is depicted in Piero di Cosimo's painting's portrait of Simonetta Vespucci, in which she is portrayed as Cleopatra with an ASP around her neck and the death of Procris. Countless poems and canvases by many other painters were also created in her honor.